Good morning and welcome to Fit News. I'm Jen from Fit with Shaver and I help women learn to make exercise work with their fluctuating hormones and not against by doing the right exercises at the right time and the right intensity. If you joined us for Fit News last week, we discussed the importance of keeping that glute med, the glute medius, we, the importance of keeping that strong as we age because that glute med is the pelvic stabilizer and it's important to have a stable pelvis as we age. It's important to have a stable pelvis at any point in time actually. So, And we uh, reviewed a few exercises last week and I hope you were able to add those into your routine and do them throughout the week. Today I want to talk about push-ups. Don't turn me off just because I said push-ups. Hang in there, okay? Because we are going to discuss some reasons why you should be doing push-ups and how you can be doing push-ups even if you're not doing them now. Okay, so a few reasons on why, let's start there. Why should you be doing push-ups? We think of push-ups as an upper body exercise, but push-ups are not just an upper body exercise. Yes, they do work the upper body, but they also, you know, not only do they work the triceps, the biceps, the pecs, the back, but they also help to strengthen our low back and our core by engaging our abs. Okay, so they will help to strengthen that core, which is important, especially as we age. Okay, so why else? Number two, they improve your posture. It's important that we have proper posture because poor posture increases our fall risk. Push-ups strengthen those muscles that are responsible for um, supporting proper posture. So when we do our push-ups, we're strengthening those muscles that we need for proper posture. Proper posture helps us to stay um, fall free, right? It reduces our risk of falls. And number three, push-ups will help to prevent low back pain. Now you may be saying, well, wait a minute, Jen, I have low back pain when I do push-ups. Then I say to you, then your form is incorrect. So yes, push-ups, by doing them, it requires us to sta stabilize our entire torso. And so we're strengthening our muscles that are responsible for reducing lower back pain. Okay, so those are three great reasons that we want to be incorporating push-ups into our routine. And guess what? They don't require any equipment. We can do them anywhere and they are a full body exercise, meaning we get a lot of bang for the buck with our push-ups. Now, if you're saying, well, I don't do push-ups, or my favorite is I can't do push-ups, then the first thing we need to do is change your mindset. So, because if you say, oh, I can't do push-ups, you know what, you're right. Because as the saying goes, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So, let's first change that mindset to I can do push-ups. Now, that's okay, but you might say, but I really can't. You might not be able to be doing your push-ups in a way in which you think of a normal or a, a, a typical push-up, okay, on the ground. You can still do a push-up. What we're going to do is if you're not currently doing push-ups is we're going to start high, which means we're gonna start on a wall. So we're gonna go on a little field trip. Come on over to the wall. All right, so if you're currently not doing push-ups, we're gonna start high, we're gonna start on a wall because guess what? This is still going to incorporate all of the muscles that we would use if we were doing them a typical, um, a typical mil military push-up, okay? So this still counts as a push-up. So when you say I can't do push-ups, that's when I say ah, 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 ah. You can do push-ups, you just might not be doing them in the other manner. This is still a push-up. It's still recruiting all of those muscles that we need to recruit. So don't be telling me you can't do push-ups. All right, we're gonna go high. We're gonna start high. We're gonna put our hands a little wider than shoulder width apart. 
put them on the wall. Then we're gonna walk our feet. Need to make sure you can see. We're gonna walk our feet back until our arms are straight. Once our arms are straight, now we can begin to do our push-ups on the wall. We want to engage our core. We also want to make sure we don't have that pelvic tilt. So get that tilt out. Make sure your pelvis is nice and neutral. Okay? We're going to squeeze the glutes. We're going to squeeze the core. And we're going to do our push-ups on the wall. This is going to engage all of the muscles that we would engage if we were doing them in a traditional manner. So now you can do your push-ups and you can still get all of the benefits of doing them on the floor. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna start high. And we're gonna start with as many reps as you can get. So let's say you can do five. Let's do three sets of five and we'll take a break in between. 60 to 90 second break in between our sets. Once we've done three sets of five, then the next, next week we move it up to six. We're just going to continue to move up. Once we get to uh, three reps of ten, or three sets of ten on the wall, we're going to go ahead and move down. So we're just going to continue to move our way. We're going to go back on another field trip. We're just going to continue to move down. So in other words, we're on the wall. Our next stop is going to be the kitchen counter or the kitchen table because now we've gone down just a little bit more. After we hit that step and we're good and we're doing three sets of 10, we're gonna move down a little lower. Maybe we go to the coffee table or maybe we go to, here, let's go over here. Maybe we go to the uh, edge of the couch and we're doing the same thing. We're gonna put our hands a little wider then shoulder width apart, and then we'll walk our feet out until our arms are straight. Remember, we don't want that pelvic tilt, so get that out. And once you do that, once you get that pelvic tilt out, that's when you really feel that core engage, and those glutes will turn on as well. So get those arms straight, pelvic tilt out, and now we're here. So we have moved from the wall to the kitchen counter, to the couch or to, um, to the coffee table, okay? And then, eventually, we'll find ourselves down to here. Now, a lot of people say, well, I can do them on my knees. And that's okay, but I would prefer if you went from the wall to the counter, to the coffee table, or to the couch, Work your way just down to the floor, building that strength, because when we get to the knees, we can sometimes take a lot of the glute and core engagement out when you're, when you're on your knees. So that's where it, it's going to require you to maybe, you know, if you feel like, oh, I can do them really well on my knees, it would be better if you said, you know what, I'm going to go back up a level and build that strength there, and then you can hit the floor because we really want to be making sure that it's a full, full body exercise. And on the knees, we do take out some of that uh, glute and core engagement. Now, once we get to the floor and we're feeling comfortable and we, we're on the floor, there's a lot of variations that we can go with. Um, because let's say you get down here and you're feeling really comfortable and you're doing your push-ups, but then you're like, these are getting kind of easy. There's quite a few things that we can add to uh, increase um, resistance if you want to add equipment. If you don't want to add equipment, you can just uh, make your push-ups slower. So instead of just grinding through them, just go nice and slow down and maybe hold at the bottom and then back up and hold at the top. So there's ways that you can increase the difficulty, and you can do that as well on the wall, on the counter, and on the bench. So as you're working your way, if you need to, um, you know, add some uh, resistance, add some difficulty, you can do that. Now, let's say you make your way to the floor, and you're like, oh, 
those really hurt my wrists and I don't want to do push-ups or I, I, I stay away from push-ups because they hurt my wrists, which is a big thing. One thing that you can do if you do have, um, if you have dumbbells is you can use the dumbbells because this will help to give you, if you hold your dumbbell like this, it will help to give you some added wrist support. So your arms will still go in the same position. You'll still be, you're just going to use the dumbbell to push up. Okay? Now, some things that we want to make sure that we're doing when we're doing our push-ups that we're keeping in mind and that we're paying attention to. Because we don't want to let that, we don't want to let our bottom sag. Okay? So we don't want to let that bottom sag. And we don't want that bottom in the air. Okay, so we need to make sure that we're engaging our core, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core, okay, nice and tight, and then down and up. Also, with our arms, we want to make sure that our arms are not flaring out. We don't want our arms out here, okay? We want to make sure that our arms and our elbows stay nice and close to the side, okay? Don't let those arms wear out. Think about, because remember, we're doing these to train the muscles that we need for life. We're not doing these to get stacked and jacked. We're doing these to train the muscles that we need for life. So think about if we're pushing a door open. If we push the door open from out here, we don't have as much power, right? So that's why we want to make sure that our form is correct. So if you're currently not doing push-ups, I want you to start, and I want you to start on the wall, okay? Start high, work your way down, start on the wall, go to the kitchen counter, go to the couch, and on the floor. It's going to take time, that's fine. Check the ego at the door. You're still doing push-ups because you're still using the muscles, you're recruiting all the muscles that are needed to do them, okay? They're really important to do. We want to strengthen all of this. Remember, we are training for life. Okay? So, add your push-ups in this week, and I will see you next week. Make it a great week.